Marietta Douglas, Carol on Year at the First Presbyterian Church, explains how the Carol on works. I think there's about 170 Carol ons in the country, and I think there's something like six or 700 Carol ons in the world. The uh, Carol ons originated back in the 1500s. Um, they started out as clock towers, just ringing the hour. But then they found that people needed a little bit of warning to find out what the hour is, so they put a little tune before they rang the, the hour bell. This particular one is 56 bells. Um, each bell is represented by one of these batons. It's kind of like a piano keyboard in that you have white keys and black keys. The difference is the black keys are up higher. It's just the way the carillon is made. Now you use a, a fist, it's not a tightly clenched fist, it's just a, a loose fist and you go down on each key. And it's mostly a wrist action rather than a pounding. It's not like pounding a ham hammer, it's really a flick of the wrist. You could catch two notes with an open hand. And then you could play the pedal notes. Um, basically, you can only play two pedal notes at the same time. So if I wanted, I could play six notes at a time, two with each hand and one with each foot. The pedals duplicate the bottom one and a half octaves. So you can see how I can move these keys around with my feet. And that's because you need more energy to ring those ba bass bells. The largest bell is 7,000 pounds. I don't know how big the clapper is, but it's gonna be pretty sizable. And uh, what we have here are called turnbuckles. Uh, this adjusts the distance the clapper is away from the side of the bell. If the clapper is too close to the bell, it clunks. It doesn't ring nicely. If the clapper is too far away, it doesn't ring at all. So you have to find that happy medium and you just adjust. Let's see if I can get it to go over. Do you hear how that's clanking? That's not a good bell sound. That's much better. I know that there are 97 uh, stairs in that spiral staircase and then that one ladder that brings you up to the playing cabin and then there's another ladder that's flush with the wall that gets you up to the 45 bells above. I have been playing for um, 41 years. I learned to play the carillon at Smith College. There was an open house when I was a freshman and I was just in awe and I was taken in by the bells and how you played and everything. It was just really neat.